it's extraction time. So we've got the hive that if you are watching the video on skateboards that came up with me today. And also the famous pumpkin tablecloth. That's the super that we got from the farm. So we're only taking 30 pounds of honey from each of these somewhere in that neighborhood. We'll weigh it out and we're going to extract it. But that's what we need for our first, our first uh, market coming up next weekend. What I'm showing you right here is not me dancing, but I'm dancing a little bit because this is my brand new capping tank. Did you see that? Whoa, whoa. So, but this capping tank replaces what we used to use, which was a big plastic tub. And that tub um, basically just held cappings. This will hold frames. So we put the frames on here. You'll see that in just a minute. And then we take a capping knife and we slice down both sides of it. And then the cappings will fall down here through this grate and then eventually collect in the bottom and come out there. This is just really great, especially because we've upped our production so much. And we take it from there and then we go into our extractor. And the extractor, thank you, my lovely assistant. <laughs> and we put the frames in the extractor and the extractor then goes round and round and then uh, we get honey and then the honey comes out of here. It's gonna go into buckets basically, um, but it goes through filters first, um, not filters. They're really just sieves um, and then that's the process. So we're gonna get on with it, let's go. Well, this is kind of like unwrapping a present, but the surprise inside is how many bees are still on top. And, ha, ah, none. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pull these out. Yeah. And I'm just gonna put them directly in the capping tank. Start pulling frames of honey out. Ah, look at this, look at this. Oh my God, it's beautiful. So that is unbelievable, beautiful capped honey. I'm so excited about this. And truly, this has got to be weighing out. <laughs> it's hard to even say. You know what? I've got a way to think, figure that out. It's a luggage weigher, but it works great for things with beehives. Um, you can weigh a hive with it if you want. Hey, look, there's your mad dog. Hi, Maddie. That's the namesake of mad dog honey. She looks pretty innocent there, doesn't she? Oh, it's okay. <laughs> hey, you wouldn't know she'd take your arm off if you had the chance. Okay. So I think I'm gonna see if I can get this. It'll be sticky, but let's see if I can see how much it weighs. Careful lift. Oh, 5.2 total. Take one pound off. That's 4.2. 4.2 times 10 frames puts us up around 40 pounds for this particular, which is unheard of. You heard, probably heard me talk other times um, that I get on average about 30 pounds of honey off of every super. Um, this one is going to be a little bit more, I'm afraid. Ah. Oh my God, that's good. But before we go too much further, I need to test the moisture level of the honey. It's got to be within a certain percentage. If it's too high, then the honey can actually ferment and you don't want that to happen. Um, so I just wanna be sure, certain I've been looking at it. I'm sure it's fine, uh, but due diligence as a beekeeper um, who is supplying honey to um, the public and selling honey to the public, you really need to make sure that you're doing the right thing. So that's uh, why I test it. So this is a refractometer and it tests the amount of liquid um, that uh, percentage that is in the honey. And it looks like a very complicated, expensive device. I think this set me back maybe 15 bucks. They're really inexpensive, um, but it's crucial. As a beekeeper, you need to be able to know how much the, the moisture level is. So we're going to set this aside 
we're going to take that frame I just poked and I just take a little bit of the honey, it doesn't have to be a lot, and just spread it across so it's a kind of an even layer. You just wanna make sure it's completely covered. And then the important, crucial part you don't want to miss, you've got honey on your finger. It's got to be cleaned off. If it's not completely cleaned off, you gotta get your act together, buddy. Okay, so now we gotta make sure that it's what it needs to be. So you basically, you close this down. It's, I've calibrated this um, um, previously, so I know it's where it needs to be. I push down so it's solid. And then I, I have to shoot into sunlight. Anything above 19, you might as well just put it in a dehydrator. But when it's at 15.5, we're gonna extract, we're gonna have some honey, we're gonna have a lot of honey, and that means everything I've got. High five, beekeeper's wife. Thanks, mama. Ooh, <laughs> I'm excited. Does it show a little bit? I'm gonna talk just for a second about the filters, but not really filters, but sieves that we put the honey through. And, you know, people, there's a lot of questions about whether or not, are you filtering your honey? It's like, no, I don't really filter my honey. I run it through these sieves, basically, and it catches all the gunky bee parts that nobody wants. But it's thin or it's thick enough that it lets through a lot of the pollen and especially all the nutrients in it. Um, but they come in different um, different widths. Um, I usually use uh, two. I'm either using uh, I use a 600, a 400, or a 200. Um, kind of just depending on what I feel like the honey's like and what it needs to be filtered or, or sifted or cleaned up to. Uh, but I can give you an idea. So this is the. I'm going to hold up the 600, and you can see that. And then I'm going to hold the 200 next to it, and you can see the difference between the two. They're just a lot lot finer. Um, so, uh, depending again, who I'm, also who I'm going to sell the honey to, um, if it's in mass and it's retail, I tend to use the 200 because it filters out a lot of the bigger stuff and honey will crystallize pretty quick, especially to the biggest thing that's in it. So if there isn't big particles in it, it will not crystallize as fast. At least that's the theory. And that's what we're going to do. So we're going to get on with this. Um, we got some honey to extract and we got other stuff to do. Let's go. So I want to show what's going on with this comb, which is really pretty cool. This is capped comb, and next to it, you can see kind of little bubbles in here. But if I get down here a little bit closer, if you see the little mound right there, that's just about to be covered over. They're in the process of doing that. Now, some people will say, hey, don't take uncapped honey. I tested this. I tested all of this over here and I wanted to make sure that it was where it was supposed to be because if I'm seeing this, they were just in the process of capping it. It would have been capped within a day or two anyway. And it tested out at 15.5, um, which is well below what it needed to be. So we're going to keep on moving with this. There goes my nice clean tank. This is what's called an uncapping fork. Sometimes you don't get all the cappings off, so you gotta use a fork, and it just picks off the rest of them. And then we're gonna do this side real quick. Then it gets handed over to the extractor guy. He takes the frame, and the frame goes into the extract it's in the bottom ties in and then we do the next So this is, a, our extractor is a nine frame. It's a Hillco, and I really have to say I'm impressed. I bought this two years ago, I think, at the Midwest Apiculture 
conference and it was a game changer for me. But holds nine frames. This is the frame number nine. You put the frame in, you get it set into place, you close the top. You need to make sure, this is crucial, you need to make sure that number one, your gate is always open because if the gate is not open on your extractor, at the bottom, it's gonna fill up to the bottom of the, the, the cage and it basically is gonna whip air into your honey and then all of a sudden you got whipped honey. And that's not really what you want. You wanna control if you're gonna whip honey or not. Always extract with the gate open. The other thing it does is it's hard on the motor. Uh, you could burn out your motor if you have a motor. Um, and I highly suggest you a motor if you've got more than a couple highs. So the bucket has to go underneath. Make sure your gate is closed on this one or you got all your honey all over the floor. And there goes your harvest. You turn on your extractor and you bring it up to speed kind of slowly. There's gonna be a bit of a wobble and I'll talk briefly about my wobble stopper, but I'm also gonna do a complete video on how I make a wobble stopper and what that is. Where you bring it up to speed. And basically the honey is just being flung out onto the walls of the, uh, of the extractor. And pretty soon, we start to see the fruits of our bee's labor. This has been spinning actually a little bit longer than I normally let it spin um, for a couple reasons. This is a, it's, it's pretty thick at 15.5 is a pretty thick honey and it's going to take a while to get out of the frames. It's just going to keep doing its thing, but also because I'm using that 200 micron filter, it's going to filter a lot slower. I'm going to shut this down. You take the frames out. I might actually take the frames out since I've got a big enough capping tank here um, and put them in the capping tank if there's any more that can drip out of it. I think that's great. I want to take advantage of that. And then we'll proceed to the next honey super, which is way over there. Okay, let's get on with it. And there you have it. That's basically the process. It's not really that complex. There's nothing magical about it. It's uh, something though that uh, you really got to have a system. And you know, we're hoping that we're at least a thousand pounds of honey this year, um, and that's on our way to. I'm hoping um, not like probably next year. I'd like to be up to fifteen hundred, two thousand. That's about what it takes, I think, uh, for um, my clientele. Um, but um, also, I'm excited because I've got really good equipment and. Um, it's already made a difference. The capping tank worked wonderfully. That's just the top on it. It's doing what it's supposed to do and uh, it's just going to speed up our process. Uh, so that's it. Um, now we get on to bottling. Um, there's not a whole lot to show about bottling. It comes out of the out of the capping bucket and then it goes into a bottle and put a label on it and then that's kind of the end of the story. But excited? Um, that we've got our first, I just weighed that bucket I just showed you, um, and it came out to about 28 pounds, which means I had, that's nine frames. So I was right on, I was right about 35 pounds um, with a one extra frame and whatever was in the cappings that you see there. So if it keeps going like that for us this year, we're in the honey. So I know that was bad, but hey, I'm a dad, what can I say? Anyway, gotta go, lots to do, see ya.